Okay, so looking at the volume of a cuboid, which is just kind of a fun word to say, but cuboids are just boxes or cube-like shapes. So you can imagine something like a shoebox that you can shove lots of cupcakes in, or kittens, or water, or dirt, whatever you want to. And volume is measuring how much stuff we can cram in the box. Our formula for it is going to be length times width times height. So we need to find a length, a width, and a height. And it doesn't really matter which one you call which, because when you times them all together, the order doesn't matter. So we could call this one width and this one length, if you'd like. Does not matter. So the volume, in this case, would be 3 times 1 times 2. And what's happening is that you can imagine the rest of the cube. I have an area across the bottom of 3 times 1, and then I'm going to times it by the height to see how many of those layers I can stack on top of each other. So my volume here, 3 times 1 is 3, times 2 is 6 meters cubed, because I'm dealing with volume and I've times three things together, so I'll have a power of three as my unit, six meters cubed. For the next shape, volume, same idea, just look for a length, a width, and a height, times them together, ten times seven times nine, seven times nine is sixty-three, times ten is six hundred and thirty centimeters, again cubed will be my volume. So the volume of cubes, not too hard to think about, but what you're doing here, basically, is finding the area of the bottom of the shape. For instance, 10 times 7 is 70, and then timesing it by the height of 9 to get 630. And that, in a way, gives you an infinite layer of pancakes of that bottom piece of carpet. And how many pieces of that carpet of the bottom area size can you fill up inside of the volume? That's kind of what they're doing. So, give a go, and remember that volume is how much stuff fits inside of the three-dimensional shape, like how much water.